And we take you to video of northbound lanes of I-95 leading straight out of Florida. It pretty much tells the story. The road is packed with Floridians evacuating ahead of Hurricane Milton. WRL's Gilbert Bays is live at a rest stop in Cumberland County where he talked with people from Florida fleeing that storm. Gilbert. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff, you know, the, these stories that we're hearing are pretty amazing and they're heartfelt and the storm hasn't even arrived, but that is the point of an evacuation ahead of the storm. We're at this rest stop right here. This is um, just before you get to exit 49. That's where a lot of uh, motels and hotels here in Cumberland County, uh, just off Interstate 95. You can see the cars behind me here. Just about every one of these cars back here has a license plate from Florida. Now, photojournalist Mike Joyner uh, traveled along uh, Interstate 95 here in Cumberland County and he found that the northbound traffic was relatively light, and that's because many of the people with whom we spoke said they left uh, Florida on Sunday to avoid the massive amount of traffic that we're seeing right now. We met entire families with little ones, pets, and supplies headed north, and we bumped into one man who showed us on his cell phone that the path of Hurricane Milton was coming right through his home. I've lived through him in Texas uh, on the, its Gulf Coast, but uh, this one uh, looks to be probably I don't know, my guess is probably one of the most dangerous ones uh, the U.S. has seen. Three million people live in that area. So the exodus continues with millions of people headed north to stay with relatives or in hotels and motels until Hurricane Milton makes its way through Florida. And many of the folks we talked with today said they were paying close attention to Hurricane Helene in the mountains of North Carolina. They say that that gave them extra incentive to get out ahead of, ahead of Hurricane Milton. Reporting live here in Cumberland County, Gilbert Bays, WREL News. Glad to see those folks made it to safety. With the threat of back-to-back -back hurricanes looming in parts of Florida, crews are scrambling to haul away Hurricane Helene's debris before Milton makes landfall. NBC's Jesse Kirsch is in Sarasota, where some owners fear debris could become flying projectiles. Less than two weeks ago, you could see Hurricane Helene brought the water level on this home to around my waist height. But with this new storm, Milton, we're potentially going to see twice as high of a storm surge. And that is something that is concerning on top of all of this debris from the last storm that is still out in communities all over Florida's Gulf Coast. And what we're looking at is the possibility that this debris could be picked up in the air by those powerful wind gusts. It also could become essentially a battering ram in storm surge, which again could be twice as high in areas like where I am in Sarasota. So all of that debris pickup that we're seeing is going on 24 seven, the governor says. Uh, the state saying that hundreds of truckloads have already been picked up, and this is something that is continuing. But even with the pickups, you can see there's still a good amount of debris out in these communities. Another challenge on top of everything that we typically see ahead of a major hurricane, which is going on right now. Calls for evacuations, people stocking up on items like food, sandbag distribution, people boarding up homes and businesses, all of this as this area is bracing for another major hurricane, the second in less than two weeks.